here we are back again to continue the dream whip adventure so yeah let's just uh, load the game from hotel there we go and where were we oh yeah we were we were uh, let me see the notes yeah we have some keypad combination probably but for other building we got some combinations to locks okay well anyways let's see the leaflet a small printed leaflet that advertises the good points of the re of the Regency ho Hotel. The word Regency is printed in embossed letters on the front. Ooh. The leaflet looks totally uninteresting. No shit. Okay, um, uh, let's talk with the receptionist. The receptionist is a middle-aged woman in a red dress who is looking decidedly agitated. She hammers away on her keyboard and stops occasionally to answer the phone. She is wearing a pair of large glasses. Ooh. Let's talk with her. Uh, oh shit, I forgot to try and look for the pause button oh well the receptionist look up and says hello sir welcome to the regency hotel how can i help you i'd like a room for tonight please well we haven't got many left and they are all quite expensive david crane the singer is staying here tonight oh yeah i suppose he's got all the best rooms Well, Mr. Crane has the penthouse suite, naturally, but there is a vacant suit below. And how much would that cost just for tonight? I'm afraid that's 830 altogether, including tax. Will that be alright? Er, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, if you'd just like to sweep the cash card through the scanner, I can give you a room key. Right, thanks. The receptionist looks at you... Okay, you should use your cash card now. Yes, we should. Good thing we did get our payment. The receptionist displayed the room available on her monitor, considering that, you, that the rockstar has the penthouse. You choose the suite directly below it. You push your card through the scanner and the room cost uh, is deducted from it. Well, yeah, probably. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo. And the room cost you almost everything you have. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go to the pad. And the wall you see a square plate with the word lift printed across it. Below is a button called call. That's call. You press the button and it illuminates briefly. Great, uh, let's talk to people before. The man has a yellow haircut which stands on end. A luminous green shirt and leather trousers and a jacket. He seemed bored as if he's been stood here for hours. Hey, are you waiting here to see Crane too? Uh, not really, I'm just staying here for a few nights. What do you know about Crane? There's nothing we don't know about him. We've been waiting here for two days just to catch a glimpse of him. Are you sure he's in this hotel then? Oh yeah, he's got the best room in the hotel, the penthouse suite. It's supposed to have a pool. 
Well, I hope you see him. Yeah, catch you later. Uh -huh. uh, we could say we are here to see him too. Oh, did the stream just post itself? God damn it. Or is it still going? Yeah, let's refresh it. Oh. Oh, the delay the <sighs> yeah, also pa -pa -pa. here we go. Yeah. Walk to controls. The lift controls are completely blank apart from a tin slot. You are supposed to place your key in here. Oh, we didn't freaking take the key. Uh, let's talk to re receptionist again. Hello again, what can I do for you now? Um, can you tell me where my room is? Yes, sir, on the ninth floor. Just use the lift qu over there. Okay, thanks. That's alright, just remember to use your room key to operate the controls in the lift. Uh, key card. A small blue square of plastic with your room number printed on it. It says Suite 422. This is the second best suite. Ah, here we go. Let's go kill somebody. The leaf controls are completely blank apart from... Yeah, 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 we already read that. So, use. You carefully insert the keycard into the control box. There is a muted beep as the controls accept your card. Great. The lift takes you up. Okay. Uh, let's um, save that progress. Mm. Hotel up. Hotel up. Let's do that. Okay, walk to pa 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 pa. We should. point that might be interesting on the wall you see a bright red box with the word fire stenciled onto the box in black letters the box has rounded corners and a handle on the front let's open it Ooh, yeah now we have the weapon oh yes oh yes haha -ha. awesome uh, let's go to the door lock and let's... Uh, this brass plate fitted beside the door has the words insert your room key written above it. There is a slot in the left hand side of the panel. Is that our room? You push your card into the slot and hear a short buzz. The door remains locked. That means this is not our room. This is our room. Probably. Where's the... Ah, door lock. Here we are. The brass plate on the wall by the door has a tin slot in one side. Let's use it. You sweep your key through the slot in the lock and your you hear a tiny beep. The doors are unlocked. Great. Uh, Come unit, okay. Monitor. Ooh, a big monitor. 
Dominating the small hotel suite is a massive network monitor. Currently its huge screen is displaying TV images. After looking for a cartridge slot you decide that the monitor is only for watching TV only. Okay. There is a Bible in here, okay. Uh, Gideon Bible that's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. It has a large cross and post onto the cover. Oh well, let's take it. Like I said before, there is a lot of trash you can collect. Uh, fruit bowl, bed, okay, paving. Why paving? Oh, it's the balcony. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let's see what's in cabinet. A white bathroom cabinet made from molded plastic. It has two doors in the front and the logo on the of the Regency Hotel in the corner. Shampoo and toothpaste. Probably not gonna need those. I hope. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, waste bin, okay. Mm. Da, 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 da. Step so. The doors. Open the door. Across the side of the bedroom are two large double glazed doors that lead out onto the paved balcony. The rain batters against the windows and they are cold to the touch. It is raining heavily outside. Oh great, so we cannot go there. Yeah, probably not. Damn it. Hmm. We need to get somehow to the next floor. Check the community. This box on the wall allows you to interrogate whoever is outside your door. Hmm. Yeah, weird choice of word. Pressing the speak button you hear nothing but background hiss. Okay. Is there anything else? Um, like, I don't know. No. Hmm. 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 Oh yeah, the microphone is working. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, sorry. It's just my paranoia. <laughs> One time I recorded stream without uh, the voice. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, yeah, and the remote also broke. Jesus. Ah, here we are. Okay, so... We would probably need to do something with the lift, right? Yeah, maybe go up, 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 up. In the ceiling of the lift you notice a small metal handle which comes out of one of the roof panels. The handle has a red sticker on it that says DANGER. Let's use it. You consider climbing out of the lift but uh, common sense prevail. What, is, what if someone were to call uh, yeah, what? What, what, what? Call the lift. You shudder to think of the consequences. There must be some way to stop the lift from going. Okay, yeah. Le the lift from moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so... We should... Oh, we should probably block the doors somehow, right? The lift doors fit in with the rest of the hotel's decor. They move silently when they open and are covered in expensive leather. The doors are automatic. 
Okay. How about we try it with the screwdriver? <laughs> a large flat bladed screwdriver with a translucent orange plastic handle. The screwdriver belongs to Eden. Let's use it. Find something to use it with. How about the friggin' lift doors? Damn it. Shit. Shit. So, no, probably not this. Oh well. Oh, but what if we use it inside? Use it. Find something to use it with. God damn it. Controls. Make out a small panel in the front of it. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Use. That isn't really the right thing to use. I need something sharp. Oh. Oh. Did we just... Did we just... Uh, found a way? Let's use the knife. Find something to use. Yeah, 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 yeah. The panel. Control use uh, the knife. You push the edge of the knife into the small gap between the control box and its front panel as you push the knife. Uh, great, as always. Uh, the knife, the panel bends outwards until it springs open from inside. A wire drops down. Okay. A wire. A small piece of green wire that pokes out from within the depths of the lift control box. So let's also use the knife. Taking the wire in one hand, you use the knife to cut it. There is no visible effect. But. But you assume that the lift can be called from any floor now. Okay. Let's go to the handle right now, and now we should be able, save in the knowledge that the lift is not going to move, you stand on tiptoe and pull the handle, the hatch opens slowly, and you gaze upwards. Awesome. Awesome. Let's save this. Top of the lift hey save it there we go okay uh, a pair of large door that lead to the room beyond this lift which should be crane's penthouse suite the doors are made of smooth shiny metal that has been well polished. We could probably use the axe. Let's try with uh, the knife. <laughs> there is no reason to do that. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we should probably use the axe. You place the tip of the axe between the do doors. As you push, the doors move apart slightly. You twist the axe handle, yes, and the doors open. That is good. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, use it. You take the axe in both hands and take a swing at the guard sat by the pool. Oh, oh, shit. Awesome. Uh. Okay, what now? <laughs> what now? God damn it. Um, uh, 
That's brutal. I mean, come on, seriously. Uh, screwdriver, yeah, try. No, 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 that's not it. Uh, do we pick up the axe again? God damn it. Well, the remaining powers of the Dreamweb have united, destroying the keepers and opening the gates. The, this has brought evil and chaos throughout the Dreamweb. Evil that has been channeled down to the thoughts and dreams of the... Ah, damn it. Yeah, we will read it next time. The human race. Your dead remained unnoticed by billions of people, but in reality it affected. Yeah. Yeah. You're going too fast, my game. Damn it. Oh, but there is uh, option in the um, emulation, and we can do that. And we can do that. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, yeah, the black screen will pop up for a moment. And do, 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 do. where was it? Because we had. Uh, Yeah, there is an option. Okay, yeah, let's copy this into the settings of this. Okay, and maybe that will help. There we go. Let's check if that helped. Let's skip the intro. Yes, yes, let's disk options load and uh, for a moment let's uh, drop into the hotel and let's check it on the receptionist if it works. The receptionist looks up and says, Hello, sir. Welcome to the Regency Hotel. How can I help you? No, it does not work. Damn it. Okay. Well, shit. Tough luck. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We can do this. Um, okay. Shit got serious now. Oh. <sighs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Yep. Use. On the guard sat by the pool. Okay. Shit, that was lucky. Uh, do we grab this? No, we don't. Damn it. Dang it. Should probably click on him. Yeah, okay. Load. Let's go.
Let's go. Let's do this. Um, okay, so uh, we go. And we take out the guard. Yeah. And. Ah, shit. Come on. Um, use the knife. Find something to use it with. Okay. No. The fork. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, shit. Um, the wrench. The wrench. Yes, use the wrench. Throw it. Find something to use it with. Damn it. You remove the lid and shave the gun inside the code. You give an experimental squirt under each arm. You smell much better. <laughs> okay. Um. How about yeah? How about we try and use uh, use with uh, the deodorant? Arson will get you nowhere. No. How about not getting shot in the face? Damn it. Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, the, the Holy Bible. Yes, protect us. <laughs> shit, come on. Um. God damn it. Um, how about pills? You don't have period pain, just a headache. Also, oh, those are painkillers, okay. God damn it! Damn it, damn it, do something! Shit. Shit! We're getting nowhere. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, let's try again. God damn it. Um, I am fairly sure that we forgot something from somewhere. The roof is covered with large metal pipes and girders wiring prot roots from almost every small gap and a group of heavy cables reach up towards the roof. Yeah, you can't use the leaf roof. Why not? light apart without a sound. There is just enough of a gap for you to get through. Yes, let's get through. Ah, damn it. Yeah, clicking, clicking him doesn't do anything. So, we probably didn't take something from somewhere that would uh, that would help us here didn't we let's use use uh, how about we use the knife first find something to use it with yeah 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 god damn it seriously use the axe and then click everywhere like a madman keep clicking keep clicking god damn it no that did not work huh Uh, 
Yeah, let's go back and let's look for... Lower yourself back through the hatch and into the lift below. Okay. Yeah, we already locked ourselves in here, so yeah. Can we? Oh, oh, can we also uh, hack the panel here? In that case. There is no reason to do that, okay. And how about the fork? No, there is no reason to do that, okay. No, not the rail. Door lock. Yes, use it. And use the key. Okay. Controller. Okay. Uh, there is a wall. There is a light. Oh, damn it. Uh, shit got intense. Let's check the waste bin. Is there something? No, of course not. Uh, yeah, pick up the towel. Maybe the towel will save us. The towel feels dry and soft when you touch it. On the bed you see a light green bath towel. It has been neatly folded with the Regency Hotel logo uppermost. Why cannot we take the towel? Take the green fresh apple. Also, put this here. And... Uh, God... Damn it. Damn it. Dang it. We will probably need to load before. Most probably. Yeah, let's go to the top of the lift. Let's try this again. Yeah, throw, throw apple on him. Use. There we go. Okay. That works great. God damn it. Ah. Uh Haha. -huh. Okay. Okay. In that case. Uh, in that case, let's load. Um, hotel. And let's try... Let's try... Um ah, Louis is flat, okay. There we go. The fuck? Wait. 
Wait, what? Several minutes later. We got robbed? What the... <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe it. They mugged me from my trainers. Yeah, what? What the fuck just happened? The fuck? God damn it. They didn't take anything else. Jesus. What a world. Burger. Carton. Okay. Jeez. Keep at. Keep at. Keep at. Okay, so keep at the door entry pad to Luis's flat is uh, grimy and slightly sticky to the touch. It has the standard buttons for code entry. Okay. Uh, Luis flat was used and it was uh, five two three eight. Let go. Yeah, Louis is taking a dump. Cartridge, rubbish shoot, CD player, pillow, guitar, food tray, interface. Okay, let's grab the cartridge first. A green network cartridge with a label on it that has had something written on it, but the writing has been almost scrapped out. Yeah, let's take it. Why not? Um, let's check the interface. This network interface is designed to take blah 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 blah. Open. Yeah, it's empty. Um, can we use his monitor? A familiar shape of a network monitor, Louis has almost the same model as you. Although his is the wars for wear. Louis uses it all the time. Use it. Do we just break the game? <laughs> God damn it, we broke the game. Ah, yeah, shit. Well, shit. But, but, now we know where to go. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Guess they didn't think about that. Didn't they? Okay, so uh, load, uh, load the hotel, restore. Okay, let's go out. Let's go to Luis's flat. Let's get wrapped. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, also, let's uh, preventionally save. OK, 
Okay, let's go. Let's go, boys. Keep up. Use it. Uh, what was the code? Five, two, three, eight. Let's go in. Yes, let's grab the cartridge. So we can check it later. Mag, okay, control food tray, okay, unit food, blah blah blah. Let's go to you, talk to you, Luis. <laughs> Luis is one of your oldest friends. He sits slumped on the toilet. He is wearing a hideous green shirt covered in food stains and dull grey sweatshorts. His belly pokes out from underneath his shirt. He's almost asleep. Jesus, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Talk to him. You give Luis a shake and he opens his eyes slightly. Hey Ryan, how are you, man? I feel pretty bad, I'll be alright, but I could use some help. Help? What do you mean? I can't help with anything. Look, I'm in deep trouble and there are some things I need and I think you can get them for me. Sure. What are you looking for? Drugs? Not today. I need a gun and I don't know anyone who has one. Well, there's this dealer I know. He's into heavy stuff like that. Weapons and shit. Uh, it'll cost though. Just tell me what to do, Luis. What do you need a gun for anyway? What would you want with a gun? I can't explain. It's all too complicated. I'm not even sure what I'm doing myself. If you're serious, then you need to go to a pool hall by the river. There's a guy called Silverman. Where's this pool hall then? If you find my membership card for the place, the address is on that. And you'll need the card to... Thanks, Luis. I won't forget this. And we will need the card to get in. Okay. No problem, man. I just hope you all know what you're doing. Yeah, Luis, me too. Me too. So that's why we couldn't do anything. Okay, so now we need to fucking find... Let me guess, it's in the trash. This pool open shoot protrudes from the wall. This to save Louis having having to leave the house, he can throw trash away using this. It smells awful. You don't need to throw anything away. Okay. We need to find something. Let's check the guitar. Louis's famous acoustic guitar. It's on the bed. This is Louis's most treasured possession. You pick up the guitar and give it a strum. It is hopelessly out of tune, just the way Louis is like. Carefully, you put it back. Okay, so no, that, that is not the... Cigarette pad, okay. What is this? Cigarette. No, we don't need cigarettes. Cup. Mug. Uh, food. No, we don't need food. Spill. Oh, Jesus. Dude. I mean, what the fuck? The bed? Louis's bed is in a mess. The covers are crumpled and the sheets have worn through to the mattress. The bed feels very lumpy and some of the springs are in danger of coming through. Okay. You wouldn't want to. <laughs> oh shit. CD player. How about we look inside? No. That's not it. 
Um, where can we find your card, Louis? Microwave cooker? How about that? Nope. No. Nope. How about under the pillow? This pillow was probably white once. It's simply. <laughs> it is still. <laughs> limply on Louis's bed. Jesus. Sleep is the last thing you have time for. Okay, no, I want to pick it up. Damn it. Um. Luis, 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 tell me where the cart is. And he halves opened his eyes again to ask what's up. It's okay, Luis, just go back to sleep. I might be back later. Be seeing you. Don't do anything stupid. Damn it, where's the cart? One of Louis's white training shoes that has red stripes down each side. They are pretty similar to the ones you had before. You got mucked for them. Yeah, let's rub Louis from it. <laughs> Jesus. That deteriorated quickly. Yeah, use it. You slip the shoe over your right foot. Take the second one. Yeah, use. You slip the shoe on your left foot, okay. Good. Um, holder? A toilet roll holder, okay. No, no, no. Uh, attack, but... <laughs> Jesus, now we're rubbing him. God damn it. Um, Luis, where's your card? Shit. Okay, let, let's try and pick shit up and maybe we will find something underneath. <laughs> you never know. Ah! There we go. Oh shit, it's the only controller. No, we don't need it. Take it, but, but, yeah. No. The cup, okay, and uh, the chair. Interface, uh, yeah, let's look under the cup. Oh, there is a unit, okay. Open. Ah, there we go. There we go, nice. Hide the junk in inside here. Oh, it's not fitting, okay. Okay, no biggie. Um, yeah, let's drop this. Okay, and now take this. Take the card, okay, and let's uh, examine it. Pool club! Um, the, the address is written on the back, okay. Okay, so uh, we can go now and get ourselves a gun. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. If under that tray was something, then how about under this one? Nope, nothing. Okay. Drop it. Yes, let's go. go still have like 15 minutes okay let's save save uh, yeah save it here and now go to the pool club right or yeah pool hall Okay, here we are. Let's go.
Assistant. Talk to assistant. Behind the glass, an assistant leaves through a magazine. He is about 50 years old and has ginger hair and small round glasses. He is sat with his chin in his hands and pays little attention to you. Great, but we need to take a short break and be right back. Okay, we are back. Ah, 
to continue this. Okay, let's talk with him. Look, I'm sorry, pal. If you're after a new membership, I can't issue any till next week. Actually, I've got a friend's card here. You can use someone else's card if you like, if it's okay by them. It's okay by me. Won't the electronic tramp, uh, thumb print on the card be wrong? Looks... Look, I shouldn't be doing this, but if you use your card in the reader... Yeah, thanks, I'll do that. Okay. By the doors, I'll sort out the... Re oh, he will sort out the rest for us. Okay, no problem, you can owe me one. Okay. Yeah, we owe you one. Mr. Assistant. On the wall is a small device flashing the message Insert Membership Card. You slide the membership card into the reader and the doors open. Great. Now, let's uh, save this. As I feel trouble. Let's uh, go. Lift control, as always. The lift control has a number of lights on it. Each has a legend printed beneath it. One green light flashes that says basement. Let's use it. You press the green flashing light and you hear a beep. With a shudder, the lift takes you down to the pool hall. Great. Bartender, the man, a man, a man. Okay. Shit. Uh, okay. Boop, 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 boop. Let's talk to the bartender. How about that? The bartender stands behind the bar, lazily smoking a cigarette and speaking in a low voice to the man opposite him. As you approach, he looks at you with suspicion. What can I get you? says the bartender with a smirk. I've been told I can get some help here. Oh yeah? By who? Uh, my friend's name is Louis, Louis King. He told me to mention his name. Louis King? Yeah, I've seen him around here a few times. What exactly are you looking for? I need a gun. I mean, I don't know much about them, but I need one. Well, Mr. Silverman deals with all that. You'll need to see him in his office. The number is... What? How will he know who I am? Damn it, the number is what? 5222, okay. I'll ring through and tell him you're on your way and that you know Louis. All right, I will, and thanks. I will, I will say what? God damn it. The office is down there, uh, have some money. Make sure you have some money, okay. Damn it, I really need to look into this uh, because it's going too fast. And it's not, uh, probably not supposed to do that. Well, we will sort it out before the next stream, so yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. We were to go where? Down the hall, right, okay. Yeah, the keypad, okay. Examine the keypad. On the wall next to the door is a small metal box with a standard keypad on it. A thick wire leaves the box at one side and disappears into the wall. Okay, let's go. 5222. Two, two. There we go. Mr. Silverman. 
The pool owner sits behind his desk and puffs on a large cigar. He wears an off-white shirt and a blue waistcoat. He drums his fingers on the desk in an irritated manner. He looks as if he doesn't trust you. Well, sh I wonder why. Good evening, my name is Silverman, what's yours? Oh, my name is Ryan and I need your help. Louis King is a friend of mine, he said you would have what I want. Your friend Louis was right, I can usually help people out, providing they have enough money. Oh yes, I have money, I just hope I have enough. And you're after a handgun of some kind, yes? Yeah, something that's easy to use. I've never used a gun before, but I need to know. I need to... Okay, please, Ryan, don't tell me any more than I need to know. I can supply you with a gun. How much will it cost? For 200 I can give you a SI-140. It's a fully automatic pulse. Okay, uh, yeah, that sounds fine, I guess. Oh, we were just about to tell him we we're going gonna kill a guy. Come on, dude, what a... A child could use it. The gun, okay, I'll be fine, thanks. If you'd just like to put your cash card through the scanner on the desk, I'll deduct the money. Okay, and thanks for your help, Mr. Silverman. That's alright, give Louis my regards when you see him. Okay. Where's the card scanner? Use it. Cash card. Removes 200 units from your card and the man places a gun on the desk. Oh, now you waited long. There we go. A small handgun that fires small bolts of high energy plasma. The digital readout on the handle gives out gives an indication of the amount of fuel left. Okay, let's take the gun. There we go. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Silverman. Now we can go. And we should probably save, right? Uh, let's go through the doorstep. And use the controls. We go back up. That is good, okay. Now we're pushing this, but okay. Yeah, let's let's do this. We have like what five minutes. Yeah, let's go to our flat because we do have a um, cartridge to check probably nothing on it but yeah we do need to check it uh, so what was the door code 5106 Um, okay, interface, open, drop this one, drop this one, okay, and check the network screen. And we go with uh, list card. Bridge. Yep, exactly. That's what I thought. So now let's go to the hotel. 
Let's do this. Now we have a gun. That is good. Now we should be fine. Let's use the lift. Okay, let's go to the Regency Hotel. And now we save hotel. We go to the receptionist. Let's talk with her. Yeah, let's keep all the talk. Because uh, usually I think it should be not skipping the dialogue. I think. Uh, use the cash card. Take the key card. Go to the pad. Use it. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Go, uh, controls, yes, use, use our card. And now let's uh, take the controls, let's use the knife. Yeah, and on the wire, let's use the knife. Okay, now we take the axe. We don't really need anything from the room, right? Yeah, I think I think we don't. That's okay. Uh, let's go to the handle. Let's use it. Okay, and here we are. Up the top. Save the game. Uh, top lift, okay. And now let's do this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's use the axe. Take the axe in both hands and take a swing at the guards sat by the pool. Oof. And now we can use the gun. You reach into your code and take hold of the gun. Oh. Yeah, this game is really graphic, isn't it? A small temperature gouge for the pool. You tap the gouge, but the temperature reading stays at 20 degrees centigrade. Okay. Body. The body of one of Crane's guards lies with its feet dangling in the pool. Your axe remains embedded in his chest and blood seeps out on the floor. You can't bring yourself to remove the axe. Okay, axe stays. The body... Uh, where the gun at? Well, we probably don't need the shell. Of metal is an empty shell from a plasma gun. The casing is scorched around its edges. The shell is spent. Okay. Dials the bush. Uh, when you shot the bodyguard into this bush, he left a trail of blood across its leaves and crushed most of the branches. Several leaves are missing. Oh shit. Let's do this. Nothing in here. 
save the game. Hotel. Sweet. Shit got real. Oh, okay. Your hand shakes as you take aim and pull the trigger. Holy shit. And we got teleported. Into the dream web. The keeper of the dream web stand before you with his head bowed and his hands Cla clasped together in front of him. His robe hangs heavily from him and you can barely make out a face beneath the hood. Ryan, your path has been chosen. I know, it has begun. The power released from the human crane has entered the dream web. His life energy must be consumed by the web. Use the key and of the un okay. We have a long way to go. The remaining six are becoming stronger. I can feel it. They are recruiting more followers, becoming stronger and joining forces. Who will be next? His name is Sterling. He commands the largest armed force on earth. He is a great position of power and must be destroyed. I know what I must do. Okay. Wait, we need to use something. Above your head in the center of the room is a clear orb suspended in a stone ring. The stone ring is held in place by four long chains coming from four corners of the room. The orb is too high to reach. We were supposed to use something. Crystal. Okay. Um, there is a crystal in here, okay, let's check it. Crystal. As you hold the crystal in your hand, it glows a strong purple color. You feel the power of the dreamer pulsating through the crystal. Take it. Okay. No, okay. Oh, we already pushed it. Okay, let's uh, talk again to the Keeper. Ryan, your task lies in the halls of the Ancestors, not here. I understand. Damn it, I don't!
chain. One of four stone chain used to suspend a central orb from the ceiling. The chains are joined firmly to the wall and are intricately curved. The chain is too high to reach. Okay, blah blah blah. Um, God damn it. We don't really have time for this. Oh, there are doors here, okay. As you stand at the foot of the door, you see it stretch high above your head. The door is only about 4 feet wide, but must be at least 20 feet tall. Its surface is blank. You place your hands on the door. Oh, okay. A stone plinch that stands about 4 feet high. It has what looks like a keyhole in the top. Was it the... Uh, was it this? You take your key and place it on the plinch. The plinch, even. Oh, she... Okay, and <laughs> with that being said, we will be ending this game now. Uh, let's save this here. Alleyway. And. Thank you for watching this and we will see ourselves next time when we continue the story so yes as always thanks for watching see you around till the next time